Against this backdrop, John describing Jesus washing his disciples' feet looks rather more suggestive. Stripping off his clothes, Jesus positions himself at the feet of his closest companions to perform a bathing ritual of wiping his disciples' feet dry with a towel about his groin, encouraging them to do the same, binding Jesus and his disciples together into an intense bodily relationship. Erotic undertones of these biblical episodes are often missed by modern readers unfamiliar with the ancient world and accustomed to the notion of a sexualized Christ. But for the earliest followers, feet were already eroticized and closely associated with sex. Hebrew Bible they often serve as a stand-in for genitalia. This book. Read it. Jesus, question. Why did Ruth uncover Boaz's feet in the cave? I mean, wouldn't that just make him cold? Oh, honey, you think that's about feet? No. If it's not about feet, then what's it about? Scholars of the text say that feet's actually a euphemism for some acts. Another example of this is when we see King David tell Uriah to go back to his house to wash his feet so he doesn't commit adultery. Ooh, okay, so feet and sex can be interchangeable. But Mary washed Jesus' feet.